Hi, this is Melissa Jorgens from the Roswell Library, and I'm gonna show you how to put some Southwest in your soul with the recipe Eddie's Turnip Greens from Eddie Hernandez of Taqueria del Sol. You can find this recipe and other recipes of his in his cookbook, Turnip Greens and Tortillas, which is available with your library card as an ebook from Overdrive. So stay tuned and see how to fix these greens. Welcome to the Fulton County Library System. This is Kitchen Chemistry. Today we're going to make turnip greens. To do that, we're going to start with a bunch of turnip greens with some diced turnips in them. These were previously frozen. If you can do uh, fresh ones, that's fantastic. Just clean them really well to get all the grit out and then slice them into strips and you can dice up some turnips in there just like they are in this one. We're going to use vegetable stock, although you could use chicken stock. We're going to have olive oil and some really nice European butter just to make it really rich. Some honey, some apple cider vinegar. We're going to use some red, crushed red pepper flakes to give it a little bit of a pop. A diced up sweet onion. This is about half an onion, I'd say, that's been diced. Uh, use a Vidalia or Texas sweet, something like that. We have a bunch of uh, finely minced garlic beautiful white sea salt and black pepper. Then afterwards we're going to finish with some diced Roma tomatoes, some lemon zest, some pepper sauce, can't have greens in the south without pepper sauce, and cornbread that we just baked. Let's get started. We're going to start our collard greens with a couple tablespoons of olive oil. Learn to watch how your olive oil moves. It tells you a lot about the temperature of the pan. Then we're gonna throw in this European butter and let it melt in there so that we get a nice blend of fats for the flavors. So probably a couple tablespoons there of the butter as well. So it's melting, but it's not too fast. It's not gonna brown or burn on us. You gotta be really careful with the temperature of your fats when you're when you're softening garlic and onions. We do the onions first. You don't want them to be cooking too fast or they'll burn. So we just want to get them nicely coated with that butter and let them sit in there for a minute until they start to soften. Shouldn't take too long. Once these onions start getting kind of soft and translucent, when they're about halfway to that point, we want to add the garlic. Garlic is magical and wonderful and burns incredibly easily. So get it mixed in real well, nicely coated with the olive oil and the butter and uh, blended with the onions. And again, we want to cook them a little bit slowly just so that they don't burn on us. 
So we're gonna let this sit for a moment. But we can go ahead and add our, our red pepper flakes first. The house is smelling amazing and everything's coming along beautifully. The onions and garlic look nicely softened, but nothing's quite burning yet. So before it gets there, let's mix in the, uh, the turnip greens. Now we're gonna add the vegetable stock. We're gonna add about three cups worth of that. Maybe a little more. Now we could have started this uh, browning uh, ham hock and bacon in that olive oil and butter. It gives a lovely rich texture, but for this one I just decided we're gonna go vegetarian today just to show how good turnip greens can be without even the addition of a ham hock. We're gonna throw in about a third of a cup of apple cider vinegar to give it a little bit of bite. And probably about an, a few tablespoons, I'd say, maybe just a couple teaspoons of honey. We're just gonna kind of play it by ear. We can always add more seasoning later. The honey's great though, because as my very Southern mom taught me, Anything savory has to have a little bit of sweet in it, and anything sweet needs a little bit of salt. And I found that to be true in my own experiments with cooking. Let's just go ahead and throw in, that'd be about an eighth of a teaspoon of cayenne. Maybe two pinches of salt and a good solid grind of black pepper set to the, uh, the largest size grind. Mix that in and we're gonna leave it, as soon as we can get it to bubble, then we're gonna leave it alone and let it simmer covered for about 45 minutes. We've got a nice simmer going now, so we're gonna cover these up and let them go for about 45 minutes. Look at these beautiful turnip greens. We're gonna finish them by mixing in just a little bit of this Roma tomato. Adding a little zest, just a little bit of lemon zest. It'll give it a nice fresh uh, flavor pop. Never underestimate the value of a little bit of acid added into anything. And finally, let's crumble in a little bit of cornbread. Time to eat. Thank you for watching. This is the Fulton County Library System, Kitchen Chemistry. We made turnip greens, so like us, share us, and create watch parties. Have a great day.